cameras all crooked. Is that better? Am I straight now? I think I am. <laughs> and I got stuff on my teeth. Great. Hi there, Laura here. Today I am going to do my project polish update. Now for my project polish update I have six polishes in my project and I can update them once a month and there's never a lot to report. So in this project polish update like I had last time because I haven't got a lot of progress to report I will be doing another nail art tutorial and this time I am doing free form kind of water style colorist butterflies <laughs> I don't know what to call it so it was inspired by Robin Moses so I will link her video <laughs> I'll link her video down below so that you can actually see how it's really done and you can watch mine if you want a bit of a laugh and see how someone who doesn't know how to do nail art does it <laughs> so for my project polish though I have I'm going to start with my OPI Till the Cows Come Home, which is this polish here. It's a lovely tealy blue colour. It was a full bottle when it started, and now it's up to here. And I have used that once for the month, which I have just taken off. <laughs> Splat here is my LA Colours colour craze, and I was up to here last time. And I think I'm up to here. It's a bit hard to tell because you can see air through the bottle, but it's it's all uneven, and I it's hard to tell where it's exactly up to. But I have to use like three coats to do that. So though I've only used it once, I had to use three coats to get an opaque colour. And my Ollie Colour Blast, I again have only used once. And it was right up here and now it's down to here so <laughs> I don't use a lot of polish when I use it and my OXX gel effects in Pretty Little Liar I used twice so when I started the project I was way at the very top and now I'm up to about here so not a lot of use still and my Sally Hansen you glow a girl I used twice so I was up to here and now I'm up to here so it doesn't use much does it, it really doesn't it's gonna take me forever <laughs> go through these and my L'Oreal mango get him color is now down to here so you can see where it was and now it's down to here and I used that once which is what I've got on my nails at the moment and that is my update so I, I'm gonna carry on just because I'm stubborn and I, I hate giving up on stuff but I don't find myself wanting to paint my nails in these colours I want to use other colours all the time or I want to do nail art so um, I'm going to carry on and I'll do the odd nail art with and I'll do the odd nail art with this project but once I finished this year I don't know that I would do a project polish anymore. I'd, I think I'd probably just do nail art or something if I wanted to do something to do with nail polish, because um, it just no, no, it, there's no real progress most of the time. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, if you want to see how to do some white butterflies and then colour them in a kind of watercolour kind of way, then um, on your nails then just keep on watching and I will show you how I did mine <laughs> so I did my little nail 
art of butterflies, if you can see, inspired by Robin Moses. And I will link her video below or stick it in the cards or something. Um, they're very kind of abstracty butterflies. There's the other hand. I don't think this, this is the hand that I showed you me doing and I don't think it's as good as the hand that I did off screen even though I had to do this one with my left hand. I think this one turned out better. But um, they were fun. And if you want to know how to how, how they can actually really look good, then go and look at Robin Moses as one. But I'm very new to nail art and I had fun doing it. And I think they're kind of cute. So I, I feel like I want to try doing a painting using that kind of method. So I might I might give that a go next week. <laughs> so for this one, for this nail tutorial, I'm going to do some butterflies. And I got this idea from Robin Moses, and I will link her channel in the description box. And what you do is you use some acrylic paint. And I've just put some of that on my ice cream palette there and I'm just using some water and a small paintbrush. This is a triple zero. And then you just paint in the shape of your butterfly. And then you put some more water on your brush. You're going to put a watery mixture of white paint on there so that some of the black comes through and it goes all sort of beady and watery. If you get too much paint, you can just put some more water on it and soak up some of the paint. So you water it down, dry your paintbrush off on a paper towel and then just soak up a bit of the paint. This one doesn't look much like a butterfly, but hopefully when I've finished it will. With some stronger white paint you can do the middle of the butterfly. And then I'm going to switch to my script liner brush, which is just a long skinny brush to do fine lines. And we'll do this little antennae. Do some more opaque white bits if you so desire. But you don't have to. It's completely voluntary to the process. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my nails there. So what you can do is you can get any top coat and put some of that on your whatever you're mixing on. I'm just using a blue 
ice cream container lid because my white one was too dirty. <laughs> and whatever shadow, um, not shadow, <laughs> not talking about shadow here, nail polish that you want to use. And put a little bit with that top coat. So we're making our own jelly polishes. So you want to make a really thin coat. And you're going to mix them together. And then just go over the butterfly in whichever areas you would like to go over. So I'll mix a bit more of the orange that I'm using. Now this one is not a very opaque colour anyway, so I need a bit more of the colour in this one to make it show up. I'm just using my Revlon top coat in various different actual polishes. And just mix them around. And then try it on your nail and see if it's the colour you want. And you're not you don't have to be careful about where you're putting it. So the idea is to do it fairly randomly. of a watercolour effect on your butterflies. That's the idea. And you're working with nail polish now so you have to work reasonably quickly whereas before we were working with acrylic paint and it didn't dry quite as fast as the nail polish. Might put a little bit more blue into that blue colour because it's not showing up as well. Mix that around a bit. I'm just rinsing my brush, my brush in some nail polish remover in between colours. So you get those lovely kind of watercolour effect, little butterflies. Once it's dry, you're going to go over with a matte top coat. I'm just using an OPI matte top coat. And then we're going to get some glitter polish and this one is a BYS one and I don't know what colour it's in. It doesn't seem to have a colour, it's just like a holographic type glitter. And you don't want it really opaque because you don't want to cover what you're doing. So I'm just going to put some on my ice cream lid. and get my top coat I'm going to mix those two together that might be too much top coat <laughs> it came out in a hurry give those a mix so I get less glitter get that out of the way 
and then just go over bits of the butterfly with the top shiny top coat in the glitter and then you have your little butterflies I like this one the best. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.